might know our next guest as the stylish and witty Mark St. James from Ugly Betty. And his new movie is so good, single all the way. Um, is sure to put you all in the holiday mood. Take a look. What's tomorrow? Well, he's going on a date. What? Like from Grinder? No. Oh my God. No, like from Mom. What? Well, I'm sorry. I didn't want to tell everybody. I thought you'd ruin it. He might not get on the plane. <gasps> oh Thank you so much. Okay. I think they should be together. Yeah, same. Okay, okay. Let's well, discuss that later. Okay, can we please stop clapping for the relationship you've decided I'm in with a person that I have not even met yet? Okay. You're all gonna jinx it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Please welcome my friend, Michael Yuri. Hey, Thank you. Thank you. You look so beautiful. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's so nice. Now to be I here. can't wait to talk about your holiday movie. Um, but first, I want to attack Ugly Betty. Okay. <laughs> because is it true you were supposed to be in like the pilot, and then you had yeah. a thing with Vanessa Williams? Tell me what happened. Yes. Well, not a thing thing, but yes. Van That's true. <laughs> but I was a co-star in the pilot. And if you if you don't know what a co-star is, if you watch if the, like, if you watch Law and Order. The murder suspect is a guest star, and the person who says he went that away is a co-star. <laughs> I was a co-star. <laughs> and Vanessa Williams was really great. I played her assistant, and I had this idea that everything she did physically, I would mimic behind her physically. Okay, what gave you that idea? I don't remember. You know, it was, uh, he was, it, it, was a, it wasn't a lot of, yeah. Oh my See, look, God, that's it's it. so great. <laughs> Wow, that's exactly it. What's I, the origin story? I think, you know, I, I, he was a sycophant. They described him. I mean, literally, the only description of this guy was bitchy gay assistant. That's how he was. And I was like, that's me. I can do that. And, and I said, this, this is a guy, you know, he works in a fashion magazine. He's, he's the assistant to the creative director of a giant uh, fashion magazine, sort of like an Anna Wintour type character. Mm -hmm. He's a professional. He's gotten where he is by being great at what he does. And part of that is probably making sure his boss is happy and his way of making sure his boss is happy is to be like her all the time <laughs> and do what she does. And so I had this thing I was doing. I was like, you know, if, as she sat, I would sit the same way or, or as she would gasp, I would gasp. And she didn't know I was doing it. She had no idea because I was behind her. And someone tattled on me. Someone took her aside and said, you know what that queen's doing behind you? He is mimicking everything you do. And she said, really? And she walked right over to me and said, I hear you're doing me behind me. What, what else can I do <laughs> that you can do? And she engaged me. She said, she said, give me ideas, and then I'll do that, and you can do it. And suddenly, we're collaborating. Mm -hmm. I'm telling her, what if you did that? She's doing that. I love that. Amazing. I, I love that. And then she reciprocated. And because we had this great chemistry and she included me and suddenly we were collaborating, by the end of the week, they put me in the cast photo and I was in every episode. I was a series regular. And to me, that shows that tenacity, scrappiness, and cleverness wins. Yeah. So Thank good you. for you. Yeah. Now you're working with another icon, Jennifer Coolidge. Oh my God. In single all the way. Give it to me. <laughs> Give me a fly on the wall moment with oh. that amazing actress. Oh. I mean, come on. Look at that. She is, she is everything. Well, she is everything you want her to be. Good, I love her. <laughs> I mean, she is delightful to be around. She's very funny. She'll try something and, and then they'll call cut and she'll just start laughing. Now, your character on this gets set up on a blind date. By his mother. And your mother and father met on a blind date? My re yes, my real mother and father met on a blind date. They were set up by, fr by friends, and we just celebrated their 50th anniversary. What? Oh my yeah. God, what? I love this oh. so much. Oh. oh, come on. And it worked out. how did you meet your partner? Okay. So my partner and I have been together for 13 years, and we also met on a blind date. That is so crazy. That's Don't you us. think that's crazy? 
And we also had a similar, like when, when he was first, like I saw him at a party and I was like, hey, what about that guy? And my friend, our mutual friend was like, I'm setting you guys up. Oh, wait a and, minute. And he's obviously Is that a straight. blind yeah. date or <laughs> well, technically? Technically, I, he was blind. It's like, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a legally blind date. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he, I'd seen him, he hadn't seen me. So this was around the same time Ugly Betty was first starting. It hadn't quite been on the air yet, I think. And so Ryan was like, well, let me look this guy up. And he Googled me and saw a picture of me in character on Ugly Betty looking completely ridiculous, wearing some crazy purple getup with insane hair. And he was like, what? You're not going out with this weird clown? And it didn't happen <laughs> for two years. I chased this guy, and then finally, finally, he, 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 he decided to go on a date with me. There are other elements that I'm leaving out to make myself look better, but, um, but basically that's how it happened. Okay, well, I'm in for it. Now, okay, single all the way, again, a title. How is that? I know. This, how? I know, Chad Hodge, our writer, came up with this title, and how has it not, there are a billion, literally one billion Christmas movies, and they've never, They've never done Single All The Way. And this is Netflix's first gay holiday film. Yeah, that's right. So. Crazy, it's crazy to think about that. I think that the sort of iconic, you know, title fits the yeah. bill for being a breakthrough. It is, it, is a, it is a delightful, funny, very romantic, and extremely sweet movie, and I'm so proud that, that this is the movie that, uh, that Netflix is, is, is first putting out there as, as, as a gay holiday rom-com. The first! The first! The first! Well, we actually, um, we found a review of the movie. Oh my gosh, what, already? I know. Do you wanna hear it? Uh, is it, well, I, I know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there is um, a very special film critic um, oh. who actually, wants to tell you what they thought of it. Take it away, take a look. Hey, Michael Yuri, congratulations on Single All The Way. You are starring in a rom-com, and of course, no one does it better than you. Comedy, heart, and bringing the sexy. You know you do. I miss you so much, I love you so much. Our days at Ugly Betty, uh, miss them so. But time moves on, and you keep moving with all your progress, so. Congratulations and all the best. Happy holidays. Come on. I mean, that actually got me choked up. Drew. She's the greatest. She's one of the greatest people I've ever worked with. And that's really, that means a lot to me. Thank you for, thanks, Vanessa. Thank you for that. Well, thank you for all the good cheer, oh, funny, comedy, you. heart and all that you bring to the small and big screen and all that you do on Broadway, just everything that you do, Michael Yuri, I'm such a fan. Mm. And thank you so much for coming on this show. And My we can't pleasure. wait to celebrate Single All The Way, um, which is streaming now on Netflix. And I just yeah. love you, so. Oh, thank you. This is what we need this holiday season.